All right, let's get into this. This is the top five worst animated movies of 2023, in my opinion. Notice how I said for me, because I watched a lot of movies that don't reside in this era. And even if I did watch all the animated movies that came out this year, I'm not gonna review them the same as other people. I'm just not. I have my own opinion, you have your own opinion. If you don't like my opinion, go argue with your dog, man. What do you want me to say? Now, before I get into this, for more context on these movies that I'm gonna be talking about, I'm gonna be talking about them very briefly, just small little summaries of what I think of them. If you want the full context, the full review, obviously look on my channel. I'm not, I'm probably not gonna link it in the description below. You can find it, you're, you're a big kid. You're a fucking big kid, dude. Unlike other YouTubers, I don't question my fan base's intelligence. Honestly, I would think y'all are just smart as hell and you're smarter than me, so I don't need to like do these extra steps in order to babyfy my shit or my points or my reviews. I can just be super direct, super straight, and honest with you guys. Sitting up in number five is going to be migration and I don't think that's a surprise to anybody. I was so excited about this movie. I was like, the art design, the direction, like, it seems like it could be super fun and at least mid, at least mid, but it's not mid. <laughs> this movie is so bad and I'm so mad that I got baited into watching it. But honestly, it's kind of a positive because I helped other people see the light that they don't need to see this movie. They don't need to show their kids and, you know, have their own opinion on it. I gave them the runaround and now they can use that information whatever they want. Number four is actually gonna be Ruby Gilman and the Teenage Kraken or something like that. I forgot what it's called. I'm just gonna pop it up right here. I bet everybody in the world forgot about this movie because I 100% did. This movie's so bad. I think this movie came out like three or four months after uh, Puss in Boots, The Last Wish, which was amazing. And I think this, is, this showcases different teams because The Last Wish is very like passionate. You can tell the team kinda had leeway to do whatever the fuck they wanted. And Ruby Gilman, I think that was meant to be a very kid-oriented movie, but their marketing was trash. And I can tell you for a fact, kids aren't gonna like this movie. The, Ruby Gilman is just like so boring to where I, I'm pretty sure I almost fell asleep, if not fell asleep throughout the movie. Like, it was so boring and it had like, I don't even know if it had potential to be honest. But it was the most generic, generic, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't have too much else to say about that movie, but now coming in at number three, we have Alpha and Omega. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I, I don't wanna talk about this movie. I'm, I'm gonna be completely honest. Coming in at number two, we have Secret Life of Pets. And this is like, the stigma this is like the 2020 virus because it saw so much attention and it affected so many people's lives in such a different and vast way but when you look back into it two years ago what the fuck actually happened i can't remember what happened during the pandemic like what the fuck did i do i just lost two years of my life and that's basically the biggest summary i have for the secret life of pets like what the fuck happened that movie is genuinely the biggest mandela effect because i swear to god i talked to other people about secret life of pets and like we remember things differently about that movie i don't know what's going on with that movie but i do know illumination is greedy and they need to either pay their writers more or get different writers because uh, what is what is happening? What even? And my number one worst animated movie of 2023 that I've watched anyway, 100% has to be Plague Dogs. I highly recommend you watch the review because that was the first time I've ever been extremely angry when talking about a movie of this caliber. This movie is gross just to be gross. And there is some highlights in the story of this movie it's just that like only if you ignore the animal testing. The movie is just so bad to where to this day, I'm still not gonna give it a score. It is just garbage to me and it does not need to exist. Anyway, that's gonna be my list for 2023 of the worst animated movies I've seen. I've watched, I watched a lot of movies throughout 2023 and a lot of them are bad, a lot of them are mid, a lot of them were okay. The 31st is where I'm gonna be dropping the 
best animated movies I've seen this year, and it's it's gonna be something to see. You you don't know what you're gonna expect from me because I am not like the normal person. I've watched a lot of different animated movies, and trust me, I don't give in the peer pressure. I am not a pussy. That list is actually gonna be banger. I don't give a fuck what anyone says. But that's all I have to say. Anyway, how's it going, pups? It's a K9, and I'm. You wanna know something I realized? If you abbreviate Secret Life of Pets, you get slop. Unironically kind of funny.